friends i am professor rajendra kurane from my youtube channel teach easy in the previous video we saw the hooks law in this particular video we will first find out the expression for deformation that is delta l okay for that purpose let us consider a bar of elastic material whose original length is l and cross sectional area is a this bar is subjected to axial pull p now due to this applied pull p as it is tensile force we know that it will elongate and the bar elongates to final length l dash okay so this is final length minus original length will be nothing but deformation that is delta l and we are interested in finding out the expression for deformation now look here now this is pull p this is area a cross sectional area therefore stress sigma will be equal to p upon a let us say this is as first expression now let us find out what is strain we know that strain is deformation per unit length or change in length upon original length so change in length will be final length minus original length upon original length so l dash minus l is delta l upon original length is l so this is second finding now in the previous video we saw that within the elastic limit stress is directly proportional to strain that is by hooke's law therefore stress is equal to capital e into small e that is strain where capital e is known as modulus of elasticity within the elastic limit it is the ratio of stress upon strain okay now in this expression i will put for sigma and e so by putting for sigma p by a and for e as delta l upon l and from this we can find out the very important expression for deformation delta l is equal to p into l upon a into e here you can say that p by a is nothing but sigma therefore it can also be said as sigma into l upon e do you understand this is a very important uh, formula which is required while solving the examples okay so let us start for the examples on this particular topic that is stress and strain let us take the first example a circular rod 25 mm in diameter and 3.5 meter long is subjected to a pull of 40 kilo newton shows an elongation of 60 mm determine stress strain and modulus of elasticity so this is a very basic example which is asked in the exam for four marks now always keep in mind it is a smart habit to write the given things in proper units so that there will not be any puzzle as far as units are concerned so let us see what are the things given diameter of the rod is given as 25 m length of the rod l is given as 3.5 meter that is 3500 mm try to convert in semi units it is subjected to pull axial pull 
uh, 40 kilo newton so tell me now 40 kilo newton means how many newton kilo newton means into 10 raised to 3 so this will be 40 into 10 raised to 3 newtons this is the load given and it is observed that the elongation means delta l is given how much is delta l it is 68 what are the things which we want to calculate we want to calculate stress strain and modulus of elasticity these three things we have to calculate in this example okay so let us see how to solve this problem load is given diameter is given from the diameter you can find out area so let us first find out the stress so sigma is equal to load upon area now what is load load is yes 40 kilo newton that is 40 into 10 raised to 3 why into 10 raised to 3 because i have converted it in newton divided by round bar what is the area of round bar pi into diameter square what is diameter 25 square of that divided by 4 will go in the numerator okay so calculate this with the help of scientific calculator you will get this value as 81.49 now what is the unit newton per mm square this newton per mm square is also known as come on mega pascal that is m p a so this is the first answer of stress now what is the second thing which we have to calculate is strain so what is strain strain is equal to change in length that is deformation upon original length that is l what is change in length it is given 60 divided by original length is also given how much it is 3.5 meter as this is in mm l must also be in mm that is 3500 and you will find that the value of strain will be 0 0.017 mind well strain is the ratio of same type of quantity therefore it has no unit at all so this is the second answer now we have calculated sigma that is stress we have calculated strain also now we want to calculate modulus of elasticity how we will calculate modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity e is equal to stress divided by strain stress we have calculated as 81.49 mpa that is newton per mm square and the strain is 0. 017 and you will get the answer as 4.8 into 10 raised to 3 what is the unit of e unit of stress is newton per mm square it has no unit therefore e is also newton per mm square or 
we can say Newton per mm square is m p a. So this is the third answer. So by this manner, in this manner, we have solved this problem. Very simple problem. Okay. So you will get two marks for this step, one mark for this step, one mark for this step. So so it is a problem of four marks. Okay. Now let us go for the second problem. Now, second problem is a steel rod is subjected to an axial pull of 25 kN. Find the minimum diameter if the stress is not to exceed 100 Newton per mm square. Take the length of the rod as 2 meter and E as 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Now let us see what are the things given in this problem. Axial pull is given. How much is axial pull? 25 kilo. Stress is also given 100 MPa or Newton per mm square. We want to find out the diameter of the bar. Now look here. This is also a problem from the examination. We are given sigma p. We want to find out d. That is from area. Therefore, this much data which is given in the problem is not at all required. So, this particular data in the problem is given to confuse you. The one which I have underlined by green is the data which is not required for this one. So, it is given just to confuse you. That is, it is a superfluous data. Okay. Now, let us find out. Let us write the formula for sigma first. So, what is sigma is equal to? Sigma is equal to P upon E. What is P? Come on. What is sigma? Sigma is given as 100. And P is given as 25. Now this is in Newton per mm square. This is in kilo Newton. Therefore, you will have to convert P into Newton that is multiplied by 10 raised to 3. Upon area, it is a rod. So, what is the area of the rod? Pi d square by 4. Pi 4 will go in the numerator. If you take d square on this side, you will get d square is equal to 25 into 10 raised to 3 into 4 upon pi into 100 and from that you will get the value of d. Mind well, after substituting these values, as you are using scientific calculators, you can directly write the value of d. And it is expected. It is not expected to write this calculation, this calculation. Okay. So, value of D comes out to be 17.84 mm. So, this is the minimum value of the diameter. That stress will not exceed. Okay. If the value of D is less than this, stress will be greater than 100. When the value of D will be greater than this, stress will be less than 100 Newton. So, try to find out, try to understand this particular thing. So, this is the second question. Now, in this particular video, we saw the expression for delta L and we have solved two simple problems. In the next video, we will solve some more problems. Thank you.